a warm welcome to kandle home designs to all so if you are a doctor and you want to build a hospital then today's video is very important for you so watch the video till the end in today's video we will show you how to make a design of a small level multi specialty hospital in india with very low budget so friends without wasting our time let's start our video the name of the project is arya multi specialty hospital and the project is from banswara udaipur road rajasthan indian The name of our client is Mr. Mahesh Telly. Although it is a hospital, but its interior design is not less than a three-star hotel. And we have designed this economical and best hospital for my sir. And a duplex house has been designed in right side of the hospital for the hospital staff. And on the side of the hospital, duplex house has been designed with swimming pool, beautiful garden, and fountain designs. So first of all friends you see the beautiful 3D exterior elevation design of the hospital after that we will explain the plan to you And friends if you are making hospital or a home even if you are out from India we will prepare the best map design as per your country rules and regulation so feel free to contact us and order for the map So friends it is the beautiful exterior of the hospital i hope you liked it now let's move to our the ground floor in the ground floor after entering there you can see there is a reception plus waiting area which is very beautiful and outstanding and nearby the waiting area we have a medical room Straight ahead from the medical room we have provided a USG room Now friends you have seen some portion of ground floor in 3D now let's move toward the plan of ground floor where we will discuss the whole ground floor in the map So friends it is the map of the ground floor after entering to the ground floor you can see on the right hand side there is a pharmacy store and the size of the pharmacy store is 12 feet by 15 feet and 7 inches in front of pharmacy store we have provided male and female toilet and the size of both are 4 feet by 5 feet on the left side you can see there is a reception and waiting area and the size of reception and waiting area is 24 feet by 29 feet 8 inches on the left hand side of reception and waiting area there is a usg room and the size of the usg room is 11 feet 6 inches by 9 feet and in front of the usg room you can see there is a gynae opd and the size of it is 11 feet 6 inches by 14 feet in front of opd we have a neuro opd and the size of the neuro opd is 11 feet 6 inches by 12 feet after neuro opd room on the center you can see there is a physiotherapy room and the size of the physiotherapy room is 10 feet 10 inches by 12 feet and after physiotherapy room in front of physiotherapy room you can see there is a nurse room and a manager cabin and the size of the nurse room is 10 feet 10 inches by 6 feet and the size of the manager cabin is 11 feet 1 inches by 10 feet 10 inches on the right hand side of manager cabin we have provided iopd and the size of iopd is 12 feet by 15 feet 2 inches 
on the back of the IOPD you can see there is an emergency room and the size of the emergency room is 12 feet by 16 feet. On the left hand side of physiotherapy and emergency room there is an MD OPD room and the size of the MD OPD room is 11 feet 6 inches by 12 feet. In front of MD OPD we have ortho OPD and the size of the ortho OPD is 11 feet 6 inches by 12 feet. In front of ortho OPD, we have pediatric OPD and the size is 11 feet 6 inches by 12 feet. On the right hand side, we have ECG room and the size of ECG room is 10 feet by 10 feet 6 inches. In front of ECG room, we have a path lab and the size of path lab is 10 feet 10 inches by 14 feet 6 inches. On the right hand side of ECG room, there is a dental OPD and the size of dental OPD is 12 feet by 15 feet 6 inches. In front of dental OPD, there is a X-ray room and the size of X-ray room is 12 feet by 10 feet. In front of pediatric OPD, we have provided lift and staircase. So friends, this is the total explanation of ground floor. I hope you liked it. And now let's move to our the basement floor. So friends, it is the basement floor of our hospital. In the basement floor, we have provided a basement canteen and a parking space and lift and staircase now friends you have seen the portion of basement floor in 3d now let's move toward the plan of basement floor it is the map of the basement floor after entering from the entrance you can see there's a canteen and the size of the canteen is 20 feet by 49 feet on the side of the canteen we have provided car parking and the size of the car parking is 27 feet by 109 feet 9 inches and after car parking you can see we have provided lift and staircase at the corner side so friends it is the plan explanation of basement floor so now let's move to our the first floor so friends after reaching to the first floor if we go straight towards the passage on the left hand side we will get a female journal ward. And on the right hand side of our female journal ward we have provided ICU room. After ICU room, at the ending of the passage we have provided NICU room. Now friends, you have seen some portion of the first floor in 3D. Now let's move toward the map of the first floor so we can describe the whole first floor in the map. So friends, it is the map of the first floor. So after reaching to the first floor there is a waiting area and the size of the waiting area is 13 feet 8 inches by 15 feet 3 inches. On the right side of the waiting area, we have provided female journal ward and the size of the female journal ward is 21 feet 4 inches by 29 feet 5 inches. On the left hand side of the female journal ward, there is a ICU room and the size of the ICU room is 20 feet by 22 feet 10 inches. After ICU room, there is a NICU room on the right hand side and the size of the NICU room is 21 feet 4 inches by 12 feet 6 inches. On the left side of the NICU room, there is a OT2 and the size of the OT2 is 20 feet 2 inches by 24 feet 2 inches. On the right hand side of OT2, you can see there is a labor room and the size of the labor room is 12 feet by 13 feet 8 inches. After a labor room, we have a autoclave room and the size of the autoclave room is 13 feet 10 inches by 10 feet and there is a changing room inside the autoclave room and the size of the changing room is 5 feet by 6 feet. And there is a OT1 on the left hand side of the autoclave room and the size of the OT1 is 20 feet 2 inches by 24 feet. On the right hand side of OT1 there is a minor OT and the size of the minor OT is 19 feet 4 inches by 15 feet 7 inches. So friends it is the total explanation of the first floor. Now let's move to our the second floor. After reaching to the second floor you can see there is a waiting and reception area. And if we go straight toward the passage, on the left hand side we have provided a male journal ward.
after mail journal word outside if we go straight toward the passage on the left hand side we have provided semi deluxe room and outside of the semi deluxe room on the left hand side we have again a semi deluxe room Now friends you have seen some portion of the second floor in 3D now let's move to our the map of the second floor i will explain you the all the second floor portion in the map so friends it is the map of the second floor after reaching to the second floor you can see there is a waiting area and the size of the waiting area is 13 feet 8 inches by 15 feet 3 inches and after waiting area there on the right hand side you can see there is a mail journal ward and the size of the mail journal ward is 21 feet 4 inches by 29 feet 5 inches on the left hand side there is a ortho ward and the size of the ortho ward is 20 feet 2 inches by 22 feet 10 inches after ortho ward you can see on the right hand side there is a semi deluxe room and the size of the semi deluxe room is 16 feet 9 inches by 10 feet on the left hand side of semi deluxe room we have a deluxe room and the size of the deluxe room is 15 feet 8 inches by 10 feet 6 inches after deluxe room you can see there is another deluxe room and the size of deluxe room is 15 feet 8 inch by 10 feet 6 inches on the right hand side we have a semi deluxe room and the size of semi deluxe room is 16 feet 10 inches by 10 feet and there's another semi deluxe room and the size of another semi deluxe room is 16 feet 10 inches by 10 feet after that friend you can see we have three semi deluxe room and the size of the first semi deluxe room is 16 feet 10 inches by 10 feet and the size of another semi deluxe room is 16 feet 10 inches by 10 feet 4 inches and the size of the another semi deluxe room is 16 feet 10 inches by 10 feet 6 inches and you can see we have provided toilet in each of the semi deluxe room and on the left hand side you can see there are three deluxe room The size of the first one deluxe room is 15 feet 10 inches by 10 feet 6 inches and the size of another deluxe room is 15 feet 8 inches by 10 feet 6 inches and the size of another deluxe room is 15 feet 8 inches by 10 feet 2 inches. So friends this is the total explanation of the second floor. I hope you have understood it clearly. Now let's move to our the third floor and third floor is our last floor. So friends after reaching to the third floor you can see on the right hand side there is a staff hall Outside from the staff hall if we go straight toward the passage on the left hand side we have provided living room Inside of the living room we have provided a kitchen as well You can see the kitchen is also very beautiful. If we go straight toward the kitchen and there you can see we have provided a bedroom. Now friends, you have seen some portion of third floor in 3D. I hope you liked it. Now let's move toward the map of the third floor where I will explain you the total third floor. It is the map of the third floor after reaching third floor from staircase or lift first of all on the right hand side you can see there is a staff hall and the size of the staff hall is 27 feet 10 inches by 22 feet 7 inches and from the staff hall if we go straight toward the passage on the left hand side you can see there is a living room and the size of the living room is 9 feet 8 inches by 20 feet 4 inches After living room on the left side of living room there is a bedroom and the size of the bedroom is 10 feet by 12 feet Inside living room we have provided a toilet as well and the size of the toilet is 5 feet by 7 feet and you can see on the straight of the living room there is another bedroom and the size of the bedroom is 10 feet 8 inches by 11 feet 8 inches On the left side of the bedroom there is a kitchen and the size of the kitchen is 9 feet by 10 feet 8 inches and right to the passage you will get another living room and the size of the living room is 11 feet by 15 feet 2 inches on the side of the living room there is a kitchen and the size of the kitchen is 8 feet 10 inches by 15 feet 2 inches in front of the kitchen there is a bedroom and the toilet 
and the size of the bedroom is 12 feet by 11 feet 6 inches on the other hand the size of the toilet is 5 feet by 7 feet 10 inches again if we go straight towards the passage on the right hand side we will get a living room and the size of the living room is 11 feet by 15 feet 2 inches on the another side there is a kitchen the size of the kitchen is 8 feet 10 inches by 15 feet 2 inches inside the living room we have provided a bedroom as well and the size of the bedroom is 12 feet by 12 feet on the right hand of the bedroom there is a small toilet and the size of the toilet is 5 feet by 7 feet 10 inches on the left side of the passage there is another living room and the size of the living room is 10 feet 8 inches by 17 feet 6 inches inside living room we have provided a kitchen and a bedroom and the size of the kitchen is 9 feet by 17 feet 6 inches on the other hand the size of the bedroom is 14 feet 8 inches by 12 feet and there is a small toilet and the size of the toilet is 5 feet by 7 feet and inside the same living room there is another bedroom and the size of the bedroom is 12 feet 8 inches by 12 feet and the size of the toilet is 5 feet by 7 feet on the right hand side of the passage we have provided a, another living room and the size of the living room is 14 feet by 12 feet inside living room there is another kitchen and the size of the kitchen is 13 feet by 12 feet and there are two bedrooms and two toilets there and the size of the bedroom is 11 feet 6 inches by 12 feet and the size of the toilet is same 5 feet by 7 feet and the size of the another bedroom is 12 feet 4 inches by 12 feet and the size of the another toilet is 5 feet by 7 feet so friends it is the total explanation of the third floor i hope you liked the video and understood all the floors clearly so friends if you are going to make a hospital or a house and if you are out from india we will prepare the best map design as per your country's rules and regulation so feel free to contact with us and place the order for the map and friends this much for today we will meet in next video till then take care bye bye